Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? The ever impressive. But never duplicate. Hey boy, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. So you were looking at the Iron Maiden, a matter of life and death themed ESP LTD M10. Whew. All on one breath. Electric guitar. So I added a little bit of a feature to this thing and I kind of like it. Uh, it's something that I picked up from Guitar Fetish. The guitar is complete and I'm going to go over a few things that I've done with it and added to it. So the nut the tuners and the bridge are original to the guitar. The nut on this guitar, uh, which I noticed, I don't think, I know it's not bone, I don't think it's graphite, but if you drop the nut on the counter, it gives off a different sound than plastic wood. But when you look at the nut from the bottom side of it, you can see that it is a little bit hollowed out in some spots, um, you know, reminding me of a plastic nut. But there's nothing wrong with it. I ended up putting it back on the guitar after doing all the work with the fretboard and everything else to uh, fret level crowning and polishing and then a little bit of oil on the fretboard itself to you know just make it pop a little bit more with the black. So it's got a Dragonfire Screamer on it which is a very hot wound pickup. Um, you got regular volume, tone, and then this little guy over here is kind of like an effects pedal. You have five different selections here of tones. Uh, home position, which I don't know if it's an off position or, or what. So I ended up putting a output jack on here that will uh, shut the circuit off when it's unplugged. So the wiring of it is pretty simple. It's not any harder than what it would be would be to wire an output jack. So the wire that comes off of your volume control that normally would go to your output jack, and then you have your ground, your hot and your ground. Um, instead of going to the output jack, you would go to the effects switch on here, and then from there out to the output jack. Pretty simple. You have a battery line, uh, positive and negative, that go to it, which I have the negative going to the switched output jack on this and that gives it power every time it's plugged in now if there's no battery in the guitar it just literally just bypasses the switch so home I think is basically uh, just a pass-through all right when you start switching to the other four selections that's when you're gonna notice a tone change so without the battery if you go through all the selections that are on the switch it sounds the same no matter what. So it can operate without a battery in it or with a battery in it. So the circuit is pretty simple, like I said, from your volume control that normally would go out to the output jack, I think it's the, the center uh, uh, terminal, you'd go directly to this. Now, this is the circuit, and you can pick this up at Guitar Fetish. Now, the problem with this is is that they're not calibrated so you're going to have to calibrate this it seems like it's a little bit like uh, a preamp so to say so when you get your guitar all wired up and, and ready to plug in and stuff like that you want to test this circuit out and adjust this control right here you want to turn it down because it's actually half it's in the middle you turn it down a little bit because when you get switch it over to the distortion mode uh, or the, uh, the two last settings which is like gain and then higher gain this could be really overwhelming as far as the sound of the guitar goes you know a lot of people will the guitar only puts out so much and then your amplifier does the rest well this thing will actually put out more than what the guitar is only thing is is it only does it on the switch positions uh, that changes the tone it does not do it at home position so that's one thing you got to consider on this circuit which is kind of nice I actually like this and I like it a lot it doesn't sound bad at all it actually uh, actually sounds pretty good now my thing with a lot of these guitars is I've been putting on clear plexiglass back covers. Well, this one is kind of like no different. But when I sell it, I will include the original cover for it. So this is the front of it, and it came out really, really nice. I mean, I can't ask for anything better, the exception of the headstock. The color of the headstock kind of doesn't match the body too much, but 
I'm not going to go ahead and, and change out anything else. Here's the back of it. This the back of it is done with a black diamond metallic, and it's consistent all the way through. It came out really, really nice. The other guitar that I'm working on that has the cloth of the um, Wanted posters on it, I did the back of that one the same way as this one, and I gotta say, I like this black metallic. The one thing I don't like about black, though, is the dust it box, and it shows everything. So here's the back cover plate. Now, the volume is also a push-pull uh, coil split. So when you pull it out, it changes into a single coil, push it back in, it changes back into a humbucker. I end up wiring it, you know, kind of fancy a little bit so it doesn't look like just a spaghetti mess inside of there. Um, you can see everything that's inside here. CTS pot for the tone. The volume one is a push-pull. Um, I don't think it's a CTS. It, they're both 500K um, audio tapers, okay? And I kind of like the audio taper better than the linear ones. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it's got a 23, 23 or 22, I think it's a 23 orange drop cap inside of here. Battery compartments right here, string through, bolt on neck, screw on neck, and then basically the standard ESP tuners that this thing came with, which there was nothing wrong with at all. And you can see the neck is like, well, this guitar body was in bad shape, but the neck was in very, very good shape. Frets, I did do a leveling and a crown on him. Uh, I kind of went through them a little bit and did see that there was uh, some of them that weren't all that right. So I was like, well, it's very minor, but I wanted to do it anyways. So I got that done. String through, all the pharaohs went in nicely, no problems with that. I added my little insignia right here. Um, you know, if you like it, don't like it, whatever. But she's complete and I'm going to do a little bit of a tone on it and see how it sounds or show you how it sounds. I know how it sounds already.